Mason, it's been a couple of months since we talked. So first question out of the box, how's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good. We're having a lot of fun. We've got a great group of people here and, uh, uh, you know, customers are flying and, you know, plane's doing great. What are you learning right now about the effect this airplane has in regards to both the economic conditions, the market itself, uh, and what pilots really need at this stage of the game just to stay in the game? Well, you know, the plane itself is great in any market condition just because of the value proposition in owning it, but it's a tough market out there overall. We're seeing that the market is helping Eclipse Aerospace in that we're moving at a little faster pace than the market right now. We're actually seeing our plane appreciate in value, and we're seeing customer satisfaction going up in value, and we keep rebranding and reinstituting more policies and procedures that make the company better and stronger, just waiting for the market to recover overall. Well, as we visit today, we're just a few days away from MBAA 2010. What's the message that Eclipse Aerospace is going to be taking to Atlanta? Uh, well, we're excited, number one, that we're going to be in Atlanta, so we're excited to be at NBAA. We've got a great presence there. We're hoping everybody can come by and see us and see what we're doing. But our message is simple, that we're here to service and support our customers. Uh, we love the plane, and uh, we're here for the long term, and uh, you know, we're going to see where it takes us from there. Now, you recently solved some of the 41,000 foot issues. What's next on the, uh, on the plate as far as bringing the airplane back up to the original promise? So uh, just, to, just to clarify, we, we've solved the windshield diverter strip issue, which we've added for the uh, static testing, and we announced that we're very close to finishing up the 41,000 issue and hope to do that this year. Okay. So we're real close on those projects, and those are really the two final promises that we made to our existing customers to get the plane where they wanted it to be and where they thought it would be a complete product. But we're not stopping there. We've got a lot of things up our sleeve that we're working on that's going to go on the new production plane, and many of those things we're going to also introduce onto the uh, current aircraft as well too as we continue to improve this fantastic plane. Well obviously the next question for anybody who's interested in this airplane and where it's going to go is when might we see this airplane back in production? Well, I think it's really more of a condition of what, what's going to happen with the economy more so than us. We're ready. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, we continue to work on design changes to the plane, improving the design process, the production process, supply chain. And uh, I have to say that now Eclipse Aerospace is ahead of the economy as far as it goes to production. So we're just waiting for uh, uh, to see a rebound just in just the worldwide economic uh, situation we have. And then you'll see this plane back into production. So we're excited about that. The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology. What's the state of the Total Eclipse program? How many airplanes will this eventually encompass? And uh, what's the report card on where that program stands? Well, we're selling a few Total Eclipses this year so far, and we're working on a few more. So we're excited about the sales. We'd obviously love it to be more, but the economy is what it is. You know, we're not in a position of reporting any actual numbers, as I, I think uh, you can read them positive and negative, depending on how you look at it. I think you're going to see 50 to 80 of the existing 260 fleet uh, flying today go through our total eclipse program over the course of the next 24 months or so prior to production. Parts and the supply chain, are you pretty much up to snuff with 100% of what anybody is likely to need out there or is there still some sticking points? I think pretty close to 100%. There's a couple of sticking points. We're still finishing the Fosterix canisters which are going along very well so uh, we're, we're under test with those right now so we've got a major investment there but uh, other than that I would say that uh, most of the parts are pretty readily able to be sourced. Uh, suppliers are still looking for work. Uh, they're engaged with, uh, with us. Uh, we pay them on time or ahead of time so they're encouraged to work with us because uh, uh, they know that we're, uh, we're uh, strongly uh, capitalized from a standpoint of uh, paying them for the work they do for us. Now, as I understand, one of the things I'd uh, been told by somebody uh, operating the aircraft that they're particularly pleased with is that a tire change out has saved a fair amount of money. What's the story behind that? Yeah, the tire uh, program has really been a huge success for us. The prior tire that we had on the aircraft was good for about 100 to 150 landings. We're getting reports of, you know, 450 landings already on these uh, new tires. And the beauty is they're about one third of the cost of the old tires. So uh, a great uh, lowering of DOCs on this plane through our tire program. What are some of the other issues that you're tackling for future uh, affordability of this airplane? 
as far as affordability goes, we're already at a price point of around $2 million on our refurbished plane, and we'll be well south of $3 million when we go back into production for new production. There is no other twin engine jet in the world, so all I need to do is build the same thing, and uh, we still have one of the most economical methods in private aviation to travel by. What's the situation right now out there with AOG incidents and so forth? Are, are you getting a handle on that and what's happening with that? No, no, no major problems uh, in the field that I've seen uh, as it relates to reliability. Uh, you know, there's a few things here and there, but nothing that's systemic to the fleet. I mean, the fleet, the uh, hours on the fleet uh, overall go up every single month. People are getting more and more utility out of the aircraft, which is great to see. Freedom through performance. At Cirrus, performance is not simply the measurement of a single design parameter. Rather, it's a total package. It's optimum balance of speed, efficiency, comfort, safety, ease of flight, and quality. We call it Cirrus Flying 2.0. Aren't you ready to feel the freedom? If you have your way, uh, this is the most unfair question of all. Give me a t five and ten year forecast for, for Eclipse. Where would you like to see this be? You know, of course, providing we have an economy worth a damn. Well, I want to see the, the plane uh, being produced and sold worldwide. I think it can be and it will be as the market recovers. I'd like to see it in the order of magnitudes of hundreds per year, not thousands. Mm -hmm. and, and we have a business plan that shows a good, profitable, stable company generating that kind of growth as, as the market will allow us to do. What advice might you give to people out there right now who are considering an aircraft for their business purposes, have stayed out of because of what's happening with the economy, stayed out with, of course, because aviation overall has kind of been painted with a bad brush. Uh, is there a, a, sta a standard stump speech that you'll make on behalf of aviation to folks out there who may need an airplane and don't quite know it yet? There is no better time in our economy to purchase an aircraft than right now. Prices are at historic lows across all makes and models. We're no different. So this is the time to make deals, and we're making deals with people to sell planes just like everybody else. But uh, I would say my best advice for someone is to really study the market and look for the plane that meets their mission. Uh, there's a lot of different great planes out there on the market, including the Eclipse. Our product is very good if you're going to travel 1,000 nautical miles or less with three or less passengers, and you want the most you know, economical form of travel for that size uh, profile. And uh, you'll find that 70% of all aviation travel today in the, in the United States, private aviation travel, uh, is 1,000 nautical miles or less, or three or less passengers. So we fit a, a majority of the need out there, but not the whole need. So uh, you know, take a look at Eclipse, but also compare it to your, your standard missions that you have out there with uh, some other great products that are in the world today. Relationship with the FAA. That, at times, in prior leadership was a little testy here and there. How are they working with you these days? Our relationship with the FAA is very good. These guys uh, at the FAA, uh, when we first acquired the company, came in with the same level of skepticism as everyone else. But after we spent a few months together, they realized that we've got a fantastic management team. We have uh, people on our engineering staff that really know how to support this product and do it the right way, and our service technicians do a fantastic job. I think by doing it right, relationships do very, very well. And, and we're getting a lot of support from the FAA. And uh, I think we're going to be quickly considered best of breed in the industry with the FAA on how we do our processes and procedures. Final question. Any hints about announcement at uh, NBAA? Yes, there will be announcements at NBAA, and we're very excited about it. Just so. between you and me. I mean, nobody else. I mean, come on. Nobody else needs to even hear about it, but you're right. So <laughs> please don't tell anyone else that we'll be having announcements at NBAA. Yeah, we're going to have a fun NBAA, and uh, I think people will be very excited about some of the new stuff that we'll be uh, rolling out with the uh, Eclipse uh, product improvement, company improvement, and customer satisfaction improvement, and that's what it's all about. <laughs>